crazy right now. Look at all those blue skies over there. Oh, you can't see them. So awesome. I've been doing some searching on Kijiji for some new lenses. Maybe I'll talk about it when I'm not driving in the heavy rain. What's up everyone? So, I've been searching on Kijiji for some lenses, new lenses, actually like really crazy telephoto lenses to do some time lapse. I've just had this idea and have a few vantage points that I know that I want to capture and it would really be good to have one. So I remembered that I have this lens adapter that adapts an old school M42 mount to my T2i, my Canon. So that's what I was searching and I found one. It's a 400 meter millimeter, which is a 600 millimeter equivalent on my crop sensor. I'm gonna go get it now. This is it. This is the 400 millimeter, 600 millimeter equivalent for the camera you're watching right now because it's a crop sensor lens. It's made by Vivitar. It's super heavy. This lens cap is like solid metal. I need to probably change that. So, glass is super clean and I can't wait to shoot with it. You definitely need to mount a tripod to the lens and then you mount the camera to the lens and the tripod. Not the other way around like you normally would. This thing is beefy. It probably won't even be able to stand on that Joby mount, the one that the camera's sitting on currently. So, super nice. I'm so excited to get some shots with this. So to mount this lens, which is a screw type end lens here, which is called an M42 screw, you need an adapter, which is where this comes in. This is an M42 to EF adapter. So this just screws on here, and that is it, because this is a manual focused lens. I do all of my shots and everything manual anyways, so, I mean, I do all of my time lapses and things like that manual, Sometimes I'll go out and just quick shoot with the autofocus, but I rarely rely on the autofocus. So this will be great. I am excited. Let's go do some stuff with it. So one of the ways I test out the lenses is there's this peak in my backyard. Let me show you. That's as far as I can zoom. So you see how far away that is. Well, I have a 130 mil lens, 135, can't remember. And it's pretty close, but now I've got this 400 millimeter. This lens is awesome. So, it's looking at the peak, and this is what you see. getting eaten alive out here, but I got a pretty sweet view of one of the Pan Am games going on right now. Check it out. So, craziest thing just happened. It's not the craziest thing, but I was just focusing on some smokestack that was like giving off a bunch of smoke and there was a flame. It was really 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 cool scene. I looked at the photo a bit closer, well actually it was a time lapse, but then I took a picture because it looked kind of funny and I looked at the photo and that's Toronto. So now I gotta run that time lapse. It's insane.
this lens. It worked so well. I'm so excited to use it. That was just so cool. That was one night, one location. I have so many more that I want to use it in. And sure, it's heavy. It's bulky. You could probably get some modern one, which is much smaller. But it's crisp. It takes good photos. I can't wait to look at these photos and put them online and edit them and I don't know it's just it's a whole new thing when you get a new lens but it just goes to show you that you don't need to spend tons of money on equipment to get cool shots like that like a hundred and forty dollars and it's going to expand what I can do with the camera by so much it's unbelievable I'm just absolutely excited about it and yeah it's works perfectly. So with that, be good and good night.